Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll take you through a typical daily routine for a SOC analyst to help you decide whether this is the right role for you to get started in cybersecurity. We will also talk about salary for SOC analysts, work-life balance, and many more. So stay with me. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's get started. Any organization that runs a network of systems, either on-prem or in the cloud, needs a SOC. The SOC team can be in-house or outsourced to manage security service providers, MSSPs. These days, SOC service is increasingly outsourced to MSSPs because it's cheaper for organizations to do so versus keeping it in-house. Our focus today will be on Tier 1 SOC analyst role in an MSSP environment. The MSSP's SOC environment is set up to monitor critical assets in their customer's environment based on their service level agreement, SLA. The Tier 1 SOC analyst monitors the ticketing queues and dashboards for alerts and then triage the alerts received. Depending on how mature the MSSP environment is, this could mean monitoring dashboards of same solutions like Splunk and Microsoft Sentinel, or a detection and response dashboard of XDR and EDR, or even MDR. This could as well mean monitoring tickets on ITSM or ticketing tools like ServiceNow, or email alerts in a shared mailbox. In a mature MSSP SOC, the repeatable tasks are automated. For example, when an alert is generated on Splunk SIM after ingestion of logs, this can kick off a process on SOR2 like Cortex XDR, which will trigger creation of tickets on ITSM2 like ServiceNow, resulting in an automated email being sent to the customer to acknowledge the alert. This helps the MSSP media SLA with their customers. Next step in this scenario is for Tier 1 SOC analyst to pick up the newly created ticket and assign it to himself to let other SOC analysts know that he's working on the alert so that no one else will waste their time and start working on the ticket at the same time. The tickets are handled based on the severity level and severity 1 tickets are given highest priority. The Tier 1 SOC analyst, after gathering data and investigating the alert, will come up with a verdict whether the security alert is false positive or true positive. The Tier 1 SOC analyst will then paint a complete picture of the investigation and provide update to the customer through the ticket that was created earlier. Usually, the MSSP customers will have access to view and update tickets for cases related to their own assets. During the investigation, the Tier 1 SOC analyst may leverage different threat intel tools, including virus The Tier 1 SOC analyst may also check on the internal system if such an alert has been previously investigated to help in the new investigation. If the Tier 1 SOC analysts are not able to complete the investigation by themselves, they can escalate to a senior SOC analyst on the same shift. People on the same shift generally work together. So as a tier 1 SOC analyst, you should be able to get help from senior SOC analysts working on the same shift with you. Talking about shifts, let's discuss life-work balance in a SOC environment. SOC analysts do not work regular 8 to 4 or 9 to 5. Rather, they work based on rotating shifts. It can be a 12-hour shift for 3 days and you are free for the rest of the week. It can as well be a 10-hour shift for 4 days in a week or an 8-hour shift for 5 days in a week. They also need to work different morning, afternoon and night shifts. While rotating shifts can easily mess up sleep pattern for some people, some others may like it. These are some of the things you need to be aware of. SOC is highly process driven, dynamic and fast paced. In a busy SOC, things can get really hectic and you need to follow process at all times. As for salary, the salary of a SOC analyst in the US ranges from $68,000 to $135,000 per annum, depending on your experience. Tier 1 SOC analysts are at the lower end of this salary spectrum. That said, one thing to keep in mind is that many people trying to get entry-level position in cybersecurity usually target Tier 1 SOC analyst role. 
this is a good road to get started but the problem is that there are only so many positions to go around in addition because many people are targeting this role the salary of a tier one stock analyst has gone down in the past few years so if you're really passionate about stock analyst role and want to use tier one stock analyst position to get your foot in the door go for it it's a good route however if your motivation is high salary you may be disappointed and you may be better off going for other high paying technical roles like application security analyst or even less technical cyber security role like vulnerability management analyst watch my video about high paying non-technical cyber security roles i'll add the link to the description thanks for watching i hope you found it informative please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click the like button also, press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.